And Mr. Fitzpatrick's first breed is the Italian Greyhound. The IG, or Italian Greyhound, has probably been around for at least 2,000 years. He's a miniature Greyhound bred down to serve as a full-time pet. They came to the United States, as so many breeds have by way of England, where they have been popular there since the early 17th century. That's good. Show me the bite, please. Good. Now you go down. Don't go any further than that, okay? Good, go right around, please. Not too fast. The Toy Poodle, one of the most popular breeds of all time, the Toy Poodle is a bred down version of the standard Poodle by way of the miniature. The standards for all these three are exactly the same except for height. The toy must be 10 inches or less. Few dogs have been shown the adulation this breed enjoys. As a true companion, this little dog has everything from assertive personality to high style. Okay, let's see the bite, please. Okay, thank you. Go down and back. See the marker there? Yes, yeah. thank you. Let's go right around, please. The Pomeranian. The Pomeranian is a true Arctic type northern spitz dog. The Palm was once very much larger than he is today, and it does come from Pomerania, Germany. They're a first-rate companion animal with spit, fire, and class. Good, let's see the bite, please. Good, okay. Down to the uh, logo and back, please. Take your time. Go right around. Chihuahua. The origin of the Chihuahua is a mystery. It probably originated in Asia and came to Mexico in very ancient times. It is the smallest of all the purebred dogs. 
Two coat varieties, long and smooth, are recognized, but the standards the size from the coat are exactly the same. This is, as you can see, the smooth coat inversion. <laughs> All right, let's see the bite. Got it. Right, thank you. Down to the low, going back. Good, right around. And this, as you can see, folks, is the long-haired version. Good, let's see the bite, please. Good, thank you. Down to the low, going back. Toy Fox Terrier. The Toy Fox is a recent addition to the American Kennel Club toy group. They're athletic, bold, and very lively. Most would be perfectly happy to go around all day and night searching for Are you for athletic, bars. bold? <laughs> this is one of the most intelligent of all the toy breeds, folks. <laughs> all right, let's see her. Down to the low, going back. Yes. Toy Fox Terrier. Mm, good, right around. The Min Pin is not a bred down version of the Doberman Pinscher at all, as so many people believe. In fact, this toy is by far the older breed, and both did come from Germany. This breed is a first rate companion animal, and true to form. He makes a surprisingly good watchdog and is famous for his hackney horse gait when he moves, and you'll see that in a moment, Mother. Okay, show me the bite, please. Go. All right. Just down to the low, going back. Miniature Pinscher. Right around. Manchester Terrier. The toy Manchester is a little over 150 years old. 
His lineage, however, goes back much further than that. The toy came to the United States in a larger version and was an immediate hit with people of taste and discrimination. Okay, let's see your front and sides. Good. Good, thank you. Just right down to the logo and back. Toy Manchester Terrier. Right around. The Russian Toy. The Russian Toy is a small, lively, elegant dog and the latest addition to the toy group. They are active, cheerful, and possess a keen intelligence with a desire to please. Although sometimes aloof to strangers, they are neither cowardly nor aggressive. You're a good boy. Let's see the bite, please. Okay, good. All righty. Down to the logo there and back. Take your time. Russian toy. Right around. This is the characteristically happy and affectionate Havanese. When it came into being in the 18th century, it was most likely that the Bichon Frise was its primary ancestor. This is an exceptionally friendly little toy. By the way, it did originate in Havana, Cuba. the bite, please. Good. Thank you. Down to the logo on that. Havanese. Okay, right around, please. The Maltese. The Maltese has been known for at least 28 centuries, making it easily one of the oldest of all breeds. Throughout much of history, royalty and the people of refinement oh, have favored this little dog. They are gentle, <laughs> affectionate, and have the vigor and high That's style to be wonderful companion animals. Hang in little boy. I know, we're almost done. There we go. Good boy, such a good boy. Yeah, good job. I know. I want to see hot. Okay, let's see the bite. 
Yep. Good. Very good. Just go right down to the logo on that. You're good. Come on. Maltese. Good boy. <laughs> All right, right around. The Shih Tzu. The Shih Tzu, according to tradition, was developed in China's imperial court as a special dog of the emperor. Until the revolution, when many were killed, the breed was kept pretty much in the hands of royalty. Those saved were taken to England and the breed was actually rebuilt there. In recent years, the Shih Tzu has become enormously popular in the United States. Down to the logo going back. I'm strung up. Shih Tzu. Okay, let's go right around, please. Cavalier King Spaniel. The Cavalier King Spaniel has been very popular in America after coming here about 40 years ago. It is named after both Charles I and II, who fancied these little dogs in England. Its following here is growing and very devoted, by the way. Shown in four color varieties, these dogs are very friendly without shyness or bad temperament. This, by the way, is the Blenheim style. The other three are tricolor, ruby, and black and tan. Nice. Let's see the bite, please. Good. Down to the logo and back. This is Blenheim, Cavalier King Charles Spaniel. English Toy Spaniel. This is a very old breed. It has been popular with the British royalty since the days of the first Queen Elizabeth. There are two classifications of English Spaniel, the Blenheim and Prince Charles, whose coats must be red and white or tricolor. And the other is the King Charles and Ruby, whose coats must be black and tan or solid red. This is the Blenheim. Blenheim, English Toy Spaniel.
Jones. Good timing, buddy. <laughs> All right, right around. And, the, and this is the King Charles and Ruby. There you go. Let's go down. Japanese, Japanese chin. The aristocratic Japanese chin is one of the oldest of all toy breeds. In 1853, Commodore Perry brought several back with him from his historic visit to Japan. By the end of the 19th century, a good many were being shown in this country. Yeah. This is a true they said he's aristocratic. Mission in class. No further than the logo there. Jeff, Jeff and these chin. Right around. The papillon, the papillon is French for butterfly, and the name is applied to this breed because of his appearance of its ears. The breed does date back to Spain, Italy, and France. They're strong-willed little dogs, stubborn, individualistic, and altogether delightful. Okay, show me the bite, please. Good, thank you. Hey. Okay, right around, please. The Silky Terrier. The Silky is a toy with the heart of a terrier. The breed was first known in Australia in 1907, but not here in the United States until the early 50s. It is a well-coated little dog with a coat that has to be five or six inches long. Good. 
that's what it's all about. Mm -hmm. Let me see the bite, please. Yeah, let's go down and back to the logo. Silky so Terrier. <laughs> Boy, okay, right around. Yorkshire Terrier, the Yorkshire Terrier or Yorkie as we call them, is as ununiversally known as one of the most popular of all breeds. Its ancestry is not well known. When the Yorkie was first imported into the United States, probably in the late 1870s. They weigh between 12 and 15 pounds, much larger than our Yorkies of today, as you can see. Let's see the bike, please. Yes. Good. Down to the logo and back. Yorkshire Terrier. Okay, right around. The Beaver Terrier. The Beaver Terrier is an elegant, long-haired, tri-colored toy whose only purpose in life is to love and be loved. They have a charming, whimsical attitude well into adulthood. By the way, carrying a toy around all day is not very surprising. Hey, Let's see the bite. Stay. Good. And let's do the lift up. Stay. And then put it back down. Stay. Head to to the logo and back. And this is the Beaver Terrier. Good, okay, right around.
Belgium de Fon. This tree is named after the capital of Belgium where its kind was first developed and prospered. There are two coat varieties, the rough and the smooth. The two Derek coat Fon. styles are shown in competition with each other. Good, how are you doing? Other than the coat, the That's very hot. Identical. <laughs> These little dogs, popular here in the United States since the turn of the 20th century, yeah. are devoted and intelligent companions. Okay, thank you. Russell's Griffon. Okay, right around. The pug. The pug. The pug almost certainly originated in China as a smooth-coated cousin to the Pekingese. He's probably one of the oldest of all the push-faced dogs. This is the largest of all the toy dogs, and if you don't mind an occasional snort, this little beauty might be for you. Come from. Okay. There you go. Nice and easy. Down to the low going back. Okay, right around. The peak it is. The peak has long been one of the most popular of all toy breeds. He dates to the 8th century oh, China, Pekingese. where he was sacred considered and only owned by the most privileged rata of society. His tapering hindquarters, massive front end, and mane earned him the name the Lion Dog. You can. Down to the logo and back. All right, right around.
going to make a cut, and what you're going to do is you're going to go and stand over there in front of the um, flowers and markers and everything, okay? So you come out, bring the palm out as well. The toy Manchester. Over here. 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 You po point that way. Have an east. Have the Shih Tzu. Cavalier. Have the Japanese chin. The Yorkie. And the pug and the Pekingese. The Shih Tzu is number one. Shih Tzu, Shih Tzu, Yorkshire Terrier is number one. two. Yorkshire Terrier, number Japanese two. Japanese Chin is number three. And the Toy Manchester Terrier is four. Thank you. Okay, folks, give it up for these beautiful toy dogs. If you like dogs, too, subscribe to NBC Sports YouTube channel for more.